trying to make you make you understand today is that Musa has explained that we are at war and he called it a symmetric war. What else do you want to know? The question was the left primary responsibility and handling the secondary responsibility. Nigeria is at war and the military are laying siege. The place they believe the war is taking place. Where is that? Biafra land. You as a Biafra person, if you refuse to fund this liberation today, you or your family will be a victim. Because whether you believe in Samonepa, whether you believe in the Biafra government or not, you are already an enemy. By the submission of Musa, your family are also the enemy. In the asymmetric war that they have declared against us, your family could be the one they will retaliate on because we cannot hold our hand. We've already taken up arms like everybody knows. So asymmetric war, where they don't know who is the enemy, at the same time declare every Biafra enemy. You are already caught in the cobweb. The earlier you come to support this liberation, the better for you. And this is also to give the kudos to the Biafra Liberation Army for having defeated Nigeria with our little resources. I have followed all social media analysis on the video, but this particular, yes, I have worried. Nobody picked it up because Shehu was talking and you know the voice was covering it. So everybody should go and listen to Musa admitting he is worried because we have defeated them. Today, the Biafra Liberation Army have neutralized dozens of these terrorists in our land. And we are proud of them. They will continue to go down. Our demand is very simple. Pull them out of Biafra land. Remove every checkpoint where the enforcements of Biafrans are taking place, disappearance of Biafrans are taking place every day. If you do not dismantle all the checkpoints, they will continue to die at that checkpoint because we have died enough in the same checkpoint. We have disappeared enough in the same checkpoint. And we are now pushing back and fighting back. And nobody's going to stop us. Oh, who would ever believe that today we have Mm -hmm. May God bless all of you. Oh, double kill! And happy Father's Day.
to all the fathers. Oh my God! And all the Excellency or Prime Minister Mazi Samonetma. Good evening, dear friends. Good evening, cabinet members, and uh, good evening, the people of uh, Netherlands. Um, I wouldn't want to say much because I want to allow the energy from your speech to resonate amongst us. You touched so many things, and uh, all we can assure you is that uh, we are fully behind you. Our commitment to ensure that Europe is well represented in this government, we are going to continue to do everything possible to serve the Biafra people in the European region. And as you can see by what the Netherlands has presented here today, that Europe is not lacking behind. We will continue to do that, which is just, we will continue to fight for the liberation of our people. And believe me, you, we have won this battle. The European representatives, on behalf of the European representatives, we support this year visit to Netherlands with a thousand euro. And we will assure you that we will continue to support you. We are telling you to focus on the important parts and leave the rest to us. We will continue to work effortlessly and make sure that this liberation comes to its final conclusion. Thank you very much, my Prime Minister. Thank you so much, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Pastor Steve, over to you. Yeah, um, my my uh, wife want to uh, make a comment, so I give the mic over to her. Yeah. yeah good evening, everybody that has come uh, to this uh, occasion. I thank my able uh, Prime Minister for everything he is doing for us. We are behind you. So I will sing this little song for you to support you the more. I say, we shall not, we shall not be moved. We shall not, we shall not be moved us like a tree that planted by the water. We shall not be moved. Our Lord is with us. We shall not be moved. Prime Minister is leading us. We shall not be moved. His cabinet is with him. We shall not be moved. The army is behind him. We shall not be moved. <laughs> All the friends are behind you. We shall not be moved just like a tree that planted by the water. We shall not be moved. The Lord is with you, my Prime Minister. I welcome everybody that has come here today with your cabinets, I say, I, <laughs> Eunice and had to look at welcome in Netherlands. I support this occasion, giving my prime minister the handkerchief to clean his feet, his face with 50 euro and 50 euro to wash his feet. May God continue to bless you in Christ Jesus' holy name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, my God. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We go to Lord New York is. Where's this, Sonny? Can I? Can we have one uh, update, please? Uh, let love finish first. Love finish, and you go. 
Okay, thank you. There were no more Biafra. There were. Prime Minister. There were. Even one more way. It's not even coincidence that they had that meeting concluded today. <laughs> and I thank God you got that clip for us to listen to. As young as you are by age, but you're not young at heart. They said today is Father's Day. And as a father to be a friends, you heard somebody somewhere threatening your children and you responded as a father. I am so proud of you. That's what a father does. Even the chicken, if your kid is being threatened, you do something. I am giving you $100 for your Father's Day gift. May God continue to protect, guide, and keep you. He has a purpose for you. And I thank you for submitting yourself to the call. Thank you so much. Thank you. There we There we There we Thank you. Obi, it was the update. Uh, yes, uh, ma, uh, now is um, ma, is I want to say something. Ma, is it here, is it? Have update. Yeah. Yeah. Can you, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, um, uh, I want to I want to welcome all the cabinet that accompanied our PM to come and visit us today in the Netherlands. And I'm supporting you guys with 100 euros. This is for the cabinet. Um, when our PM was, uh, was addressing us, uh, and, uh, a word came into my mind. And uh, I have to take that word from Matthew chapter 16, verse 17. And I will read from the New Living Translation. And there he said, here is written uh, Jesus replied, but I will say Yeshua replied, you are blessed, Simon, son of John, because my father in heaven has revealed this to you. You did not learn this from any human being. So when you were talking to us, this is a word that the spirit of God put in my heart to tell you that what you are doing today you did not learn it from anybody what you are doing today is something from the from the day you were born even from the moment you were conceived god has already ordained this day that you are the one that will liberate the afran people from the shackles of the enemies the cry that you drop today is not a cry of weakness. It's a cry that you, what is happening to your children has touched you. It's a cry of strength. And it's a cry that some, a cry of somebody that is genuine. And that is the way I feel about it. Because I have known you, I have known most of the times you don't normally cry. Maybe if I calculate the, the, the time I've seen our PM cry, maybe now it's three or four times. And it's, you always come up with this when the spirit of Elohim has come upon you. So I want to tell you, our PM, that you are not alone in this journey. I want to tell you that heaven is upon you. I want to tell you that you are the chosen one to rebuild the people of Biafra. And I don't want you to, I don't want you to, to be to be in, in, any, in any way afraid because what is on you is greater than our enemies. And I would like to, to round up with this song because this song has been in my heart and I have to sing it. It's a, 
Ibuti Ibuti anya Dia huzo Agada bachiruzo Mwoko bioma O lilanya Kendi nso Aya uroku Mahu yere oku Samone pa Gini kangeji Tuorogi Ozorogi Agama po isiala ngegeze mo Ibu chimo Thank you my Prime Minister May Chupo Kabiyama bless you And may this whole land you come May it be the start of our liberation again Thank you sir Thank you Thank you Thank you Please let's be concise of the time You go straight to the point Because we have many hands up Many people may be rushing to work, so don't keep them waiting too much with their hands up. Um, Kama is real, and we need support. We need support, support the Prime Minister with the speech that he has made, unveiling and making you understand what is really important to us. We need support. Like he said, we need machines. We need machines to be able to destroy the enemies. Raise your hands and support Netherlands and support Prime Minister. Why is it Thank you. Finance Minister. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Uh, let me just use this opportunity. It would be snappy. Uh, Prime Minister, uh, greeting from here. Good afternoon. Um, greeting to fellow Biafrans. We oh. appreciate you. We appreciate all you are doing. I will be supporting with this sum of $1,000. Please, I want to let our people know uh, I'm a man of action. I believe we can do better than what we are doing. Sometimes um, we show up give us contribution of $50, they will turn around, we just want to speak, put more emphasis maybe on whatever they forget before, and add it up with $20, $1, all that money is appreciated. Please, the money you reserve to give us next month, next two months, next, next three months, we need the money now. If we are really concerned the way we talk about and appreciate our prime minister, we have to show that by our action, we don't have, we have to learn how to give it up. We, we need to stop holding back. After our prime minister's speech, he came back again and he said, we need what it, we need machine. We need what, we, what it takes to get the logistic. We need finance. Please, if you want to talk two, three, four, five minutes, keep preaching here at the end of the day, we still appreciate that $20, $50. Please just cut it short. If that's what's going to be one minute, 30 seconds. Please, uh, we have le let me leave so that uh, we can take more hands. Please just give from the abundance of your heart. If what our prime minister touches you, whatever you know, you will give us next fundraising, next to most fundraising. We need it now. If we get that now, it will be a game changer. It will be a game changer. Thank you, uh, Pia. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you, Minister. Thank you. So much. Thank you. Thank you. Bless you. Uh, Mazi Mazi Sane. Sane. Mazi yeah. I, I want to ask something because we have the Father's Day uh, present for PM and we would like to unveil it. So let me know when we can do that, please. All right. Let's get the support He's after them. The the <laughs> okay, Mazi Eze, over to you. Come on, Israel. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you for the opportunity. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, uh, PM. Um, today is a, a special day, and uh, I'm here in the UK Lysin office. Uh, there you can see how beautiful the place is, littered with the pictures, and uh, it's getting better and better every day, every day. Uh, thank you so much, Pian, for giving us the opportunity. You know, uh, I'm actually watching. Thank you. I'm supporting today with a sum of uh, 100 uh, agenda. Um, and I hope uh, I will keep doing more and more. Thank you so much, and I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. I love your office. 
Thank, Thank you. Um, Oscar Chukudi. Oscar Chukudi, over to you. Hey, APM. We are welcome in Netherlands. We thank you for great things you have done, and we thank you for the greater things you are about to do. I'm more and more large, I'm more and more late, but I can work and genius, and my support if I need me with 500 euros. Wow, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow. God bless you, my sister. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. So go to you, over to you. Yeah, PM, good evening. Good evening, cabinet members. Good evening, Netherlands. PM, yeah. your speech today is so wonderful. I need to I need to also get a COS involved. Where is COS? COS, on your behalf, please, for the uh, new dimension. Where is COS? Please, you need to back me up on this. We, we don't want our PM to be shedding tears. We don't need tears now. I know it's a tear of joy. It's a tear of strength. It's no, not a aren't. tear. It's not a tear of a weakling. It's not. So you need to back me up on this, US. I'm going to be. I'm going to be supporting our PM because this 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 speech today really touched my heart. I'm going to support him with a uh, 300 uh, a German. Oh yeah, back me up. Put your head. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you. Let's go. 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 let us go let us go let us go like you already said, we really, really, it's been a few occasions that we, Honorable Minister Sonny, did you, did you see me? Yeah, yeah, I can do you. Okay, thank you so spotlight. much. Thank you, Sister Olewune. Thank you so much, Bia friends. I mean, I'm just short of words, but the words from our Honorable Prime Minister, the Peace Ambassador. And like he said, self-preservation, is what we are doing. Thank you so much, Netherlands. I can thank you so much. The executive, the leaders, RB and Co, the European reps, you all are doing a great job. Again, what the PM said and what we are doing is self-preservation. We've been killed enough by Nigerian government. They reintegrate non-terrorists into the Nigerian military and police. The Nigerian Defense Minister, Musa Christopher, he accepted that. He approved that. He told the world that, Daniel, what was that? That Nigeria reintegrates non terrorists into the Nigerian military and police. What else does the world need to know? What else do we need to say? The time for crime is over. We've done everything. We've carried peaceful placards, just to let the world know Biafra has been a country, a full-fledged country between 1967 and 1970. The world knows that. We've been killed enough by the Nigeria government using the reintegrated and rehabilitated terrorists. Now Nigeria is filled with terrorists all over the country. And we need the world leaders to support our prime minister, Simon Etna, because we cannot live with terrorists who come to kill us. Sister Olewune, I thank you so much. I thank you, dear friends. Happy Father's Day. And for supporting the PM, just to wipe that tear and clean your shoe. I am supporting Sister Olewune and our Biafra PM with the sum of $3,000. Let's Musa go and kill himself. Thank you so much. Wow. Wow. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, 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 o
Thank you. 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 you. Thank 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 you. Thank